Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you cutting up and record start stop vocal samples in Reaper. Now the purpose of this video is to show you how to cut up vocal samples and also create effects that we can play on a MIDI keyboard and create a melody with a few interesting options, namely the record start effect or record stop effect, which are vinyl effects you'd normally create with a turntable. But we're gonna do that in Reaper. I have a vocal sample that I found that we're gonna use in this video. And it sounds like this. But we're just gonna take a piece of it so we can cut it up and use the pitch to create a melody. Now you're probably gonna use your own sample, but the process should be the same. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a new track. Right here, let's put it on top, give it a color, and we're gonna set it up so we can play it with our USB MIDI keyboard. Go to the input, MIDI, USB keyboard. Then I'm gonna turn on input monitoring, put it into record, and if I play the keyboard, we should see level right over here on the meter. And we do. So now I wanna put a sample plugin on this track. But let's first select the vocal, as it'll make it easier to import it into our sample plugin. Then we'll go to the track effects on this track and choose under the Reaper plugins, Resample-Matic 5000, which is a sampler that comes with Reaper. Open it up, and it looks like this. Now we can import the sound we selected right from here. Import item from range, and it shows up right here. And by default, it's gonna play back from our keyboard. But we should change some settings. First off, let's turn on Obey Note Offs. So if I let go of my key, it stops playing the sample. Then I'll change the max voices to be one. This way, if you play multiple notes, each one cuts off. Then we're going to change the minimum volume to be infinity. This way to respond to velocity. And then I'm also gonna change the mode to be note semitone shifted. So if we go up and down the keyboard, it changes the pitch of the vocal. But if you notice, the vocal starts off at a tune and it kind of moves to a different note. So I wanna cut that off right here by dragging the start time a little further in so we get a solid pitch. That's a lot better. Then we're gonna change the notes assigned to the sample. We can leave the note start alone and just change the note end, giving us room for other vocal samples that we can play. So if I hit the keyboard at E5, that's probably the highest note I'm gonna play. So I could double click this knob and it changes to that value. So now if I play above the E, we don't hear the sample. But if I play below it, we do. So we can reserve those notes above the E for some other samples. But now I also wanna change the pitch offset to be in a key I wanna work with. So I'm gonna change it to minus three. So this should be good for this note. Now let's create another sample by creating some vinyl effects. So let's close this. Let's duplicate the sample. Hold the control on the PC, command on the Mac, and just drag it over. And that creates a copy. And I'm gonna place this based on the timeline up here. So the main point of the vocal, which is right here, lands on the beat, 
And then I'm going to trim this part with my grid turned on to be exactly one beat early. So it goes from measure eight before to measure nine. And we're going to create the effect right over here. Now we can make this longer if you prefer, but for this piece, I just need a quarter note sliding up or sliding down. So now it's right click on this audio and choose take, take pitch envelope. And it creates an envelope right over here where we can adjust our pitch. I'm going to hold down shift and click right here to create a point and grab over here and bring it all the way down. So it should pitch up from a lower point. But that only moves down three steps. I want it to be bigger. So let's go to our preferences. And let's scroll down to editing behavior, envelope display. And right over here, per take, pitch envelope range defaults to three. But we can change it to a larger value. I'm going to choose 12, which is a full octave. Now, if we go back over here, we can readjust this to be a full octave down, going up to the normal range. <coughs> making it sound like a record start effect, like it's completely stopped and moving up to full speed. <coughs> so we could use this effect to create our melody. But in order to use this in the sampler, we need to make it its own file. So let's glue it. Right click and choose glue. And that created a new file with that pitch effect printed. So now we could use this in our sampler. Let's select it, go back over here to this track. Let's create another instantiation of this plugin. Right here. We'll import it from the arrange. We readjust the velocity, sensitivity, the max voices, obey, note offs. I'm going to put this on F5. So hit F5 on the keyboard. Double click over here. And it changes it to F5 for note start and note end. So now if we play it, we hear it on that key but we're still hearing the other sample on the other keys. So now we'll create another one to pitch down, to recreate the record stop effect. So let's close this, and let's duplicate this sample again. And once again, we'll put it one beat early, and trim it to be exactly one beat early, but this time, we're going to pitch it down. So right click, take, take pitch envelope, and leave this point alone. We'll create another one right here and bring it down, which sounds like this. Which gives off the impression of a record stop. So once again, we'll glue this. So it creates its own file, keep it selected, and create another sampler. We'll set it up the same, and change the notes to be G5. Hit G5, double click over here, and it should play when we import it right here. Now we can create a melody with those options. Something like this. So let's close the plugin, mute this track, already put in a kick part, which sounds like this. But now we can add in our own melody just by playing these samples. So let's give it a shot. So 
something like that should do. We can quantize it, and it sounds like this. Now, obviously, you're going to vary it for your song or your melody based on your vocal sample, but I think this gives you an idea of how to set up a melody with the vocal sample and create record start and stop effects using vocal samples in Reaper. So I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!